Okay, let's do this. Stress coping. Confession. I have gathered the core today because I have something to confess. I am a non-believer. The shocked murmur spreading throughout the room does nothing to hamper my relief. <gasps> oh, I'm a non-believer. Oh, that is great. We can conquer the Pope. Hello everyone, I am Boiler and I welcome you to episode 47 of Crusader Kings 3. Yeah, so we are still we are still playing our guy Kaiser Alexander of Bern. Um he's just absolutely unstoppable. I mean he got to the throne when he was how old? 16? So well, in a year he will be on the throne for, uh, he will have been on the throne for, uh, let me calculate this, 64 years? <laughs> That's insane, I mean, there are very few rulers in his in actual history that ruled for this amount of time. And, I mean, he still, um, he still has a whole uh, bunch of health boosts, I mean, his total health is poor, but... Um, he still has a lot of boosts, so he might last. <laughs> he might last a little longer than uh, eighty. So, I'm just really, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really sad for his heir, who is fifty almost and has never ruled anything. This, probably that's why he is melancholic. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I could give him something to rule. Actually, should I give him something to rule? I'm not really sure. I mean. Um, let me see. We'll, we'll lose a bunch of stuff here. We'll lose the Kingdom of Aquitaine, uh, which is actually the one I want, don't want to lose. Can I give this to him? Can I, can I give this to this guy? I mean, he doesn't have any land, which probably will not be a good idea, but... Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm not really sure. I may I I might mess things up even even more if I do that. So we'll just we'll just uh, ignore it for now. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there's uh, something I can't ignore, and that's uh, this here. I actually uh, have vassals that I would need to grant to the uh, rightful owner, basically. So uh, I have this uh, Duke Arnold uh, who is sitting here, and actually he would belong to West Francia, so he should. Uh, he should go over there and uh, I will do that. So I grant this vassal. And then there is Countess um, Veronica. And the problem with her was, if I remember correctly, that somehow she held a duchy title from over here, which is why I could not grant her um, as a vassal to this duchy here. But she, she seemed to uh, have lost that title. So uh, we are now able to actually grant her to the rightful owner basically so we'll do that as well so we have sorted this out and yeah what can i do here i can ransom some prisoners so we'll probably do that um okay no and now the other one is gone okay modify contracts yeah i can modify quite a few contracts but i don't know why i would want to do that uh, we could have alliances. No, I don't need alliances. We have 36,000 troops. We don't need alliances. I wouldn't know for what. So uh, in the last episode, we were conquering uh, parts of Verona down here. Um, we now should have a truce, which means we cannot go to war again. Uh, we'll break the truce, right? So we cannot do that right now. We could uh, do some holy war down here. Um, let me see. How is that doing here? So what, what else belongs to this kingdom down here? So this would belong to the kingdom as well. So if we go over here, uh, we have a truce as well. So this is also Tripoli, so we cannot do anything there. Um, let me have a look at duchies. So we have this one here. Uh, we could declare war here probably. No, we have a truce there as well. Um, we do not have a castle spell eye. Why do we not have a castle spell eye? You are orthodox? Well, what, we should be able to holy ward this. I mean, he's orthodox. He's not Catholic. Um, okay. Then we'll, we'll not do this. Um... So where are we on? So this is another kingdom. This this doesn't give me anything if, if I go to war over there. So we can't really do much down here right now. So what with our 
eastward expansion can we do something there so we have augsburg here um they seem to be pretty weak uh can we do something here we can actually declare war count udalrich's claim who are you count of strasbourg so you are owning this the problem now of course is if i if this is your claim and i go to war over your claim you will then own a uh, county which does, does not belong or actually it does let me see let me let me quickly have a look at this yeah actually and you have a claim if i go over here and let me see uh not this one so you are ruling this this belongs to augsburg and if i yes and if i declare war here uh for your claim you get this little bit actually actually yes he, he seems to have a few allies but i don't care uh we'll just go to war anyway so um yeah and then we'll need to raise our local troops which is here in Bern. raise local army oh this should be quite interesting we have a ton of money over there uh what is that sway infiltrators it has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to trier the capital of my cousin duke dieter locals newly settled or not praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me i'm swaying this guy we, he likes me very much so i don't need to do anything here um it is not worth it so um definitely not worth it so have a look at my armies here so uh Let's have a look here. So we we'll, uh, should we? So what do we have here? These guys. Then we have. These are mostly peasants. There's my siege equipment. So there are some riders in there. Actually, riders and pikemen. Let's let's combine these two armies right there, and then let's combine these two armies. And uh, yeah, that should be that should be doing it. So. Um, so let's combine these two together. You will go and... Where did I declare war? Oh, over here. So you will go and siege. And you will go and... Uh, I don't know what. Just just go. <laughs> so is this the enemy army? No, this is a neutral army. Um, learning perk is available. Oh, that's great. I, I, I'm be I'm obese again? Let me see here. Um... I'm still trying to lose weight, but I'm obese again, okay? Yeah, but I have a perk here, so let's see what that is. Oh, we are still on learning. I didn't I didn't bother to switch that, so uh, what is that? Clergy opinion plus 10? Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. We'll, we'll stay on learning. We'll try to boost our learning until we die. So... What the hell? Didn't I... I lost obese, okay. Didn't I combine these two? Apparently not. Uh, now are these enemy armies or what the hell? Enemy joins war, faction disbanded, yeah, yeah whatever. Ransom accepted. I can ransom for 25, he'll definitely do that. So um, let's just leave this army here and just in case uh, we get uh, attacked, they can come and help. But. Uh, Will probably not will even be necessary because well he doesn't have as many troops as as one of our armies has so we are just completely overpowered by now this is this is absolutely crazy now the funny uh, the funny thing is about crusader kings 2 of course even if you are completely overpowered there can still be uh, there are still things that can go wrong so uh, it's never like yeah i'm overpowered now i will win the game i mean <laughs> if you don't manage your uh, your dynasty and your succession you might end up with a disintegrating realm at some point so uh, yeah that's what is does that's what keeps this game fun there's always something to do there's always some challenge always something to manage even when you are at a point where at least currently there's no one who can do anything to you basically but uh yeah that is not that is not uh the same security as it would be in a game like uh, civilization or uh yeah whatever whatever else there might be so uh yeah that's that's what i like about the uh, crusade kings i gained a level of devotion yeah okay 
So after this little war, we'll, uh, Alm is on the siege. Where's, where's, where's Alm? Alm is up there. Yeah, um, <laughs> okay, if you, if you, if you, if you, uh, insist, uh, then we, um, yeah. Then we will come to you and, uh, show you the errors of your ways. So basically go over there. Now he, uh, changed his mind. So you go there and just absolutely destroy the naked man with the beard. So uh, it seems, or no, that's that's the enemy. So it seems that uh, nudity is not only rampant in our little kingdom, but uh, or empire, but uh, elsewhere as as well as well, um, as well, yeah. Sway compliments. Ooh. I mean, what? I'll try that. Okay, enemy capacity, your console in. Oh, my console died. Siege one, prisoner taken in siege. So, uh, how are we doing on this war? And uh, we could do better, but um, uh, let's see. So, we have an empty console position, we don't need that. Uh, let's see who our oh, spy master. No, that's an, that's an important position. So, let's see who we who we could get. So, we have a, a count. Um, we have a duke, uh, quite a powerful duke at that. Um, and then we have an equally good king. For some reason he doesn't have any troops, but, uh... Then we have Gottfried, uh, who is not no one, so we'll definitely not take that one. So, uh, actually I'm inclined to, uh, take this, uh, duke here. Because a count, well, we don't really need to appease him. So we'll, we'll, we'll uh, assign the... Uh, what? Um, did I... What did I miss? Didn't it display 20... What? Uh, w why? Oh, I... Oh, Jesus Christ, I, I looked at the wrong stat. Um, I'm an idiot. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, step on his toes then. So, um, yeah, the best one we can get is actually this guy. Yukeso. Yeah, so we'll get Yukeso. Yeah, we'll fire him, I don't care. So he will not like us, but uh, yeah, we need to correct that mistake. So, Duke Dieter is swayed. Excellent. No, we need to sway someone else because, uh, <laughs> yeah, we we pissed off one of our dukes. See, it's, it's, this is the guy we pissed off. Yeah, okay, so we'll actually try to sway him. Um, yeah, we'll try to sway him. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I looked at your wrong stat. Um, it happens, okay? Don't be mad at me. Uh... Okay, whatever. So, uh, we need to do one more siege, it appears, and then we'll have won this little war here. Uh, now we're back to sieging individual counties. I don't really like that. It, I mean, it's a really slow way of expanding, but... Uh, yeah, we have to wait for the big holy wars, it seems, for... Um, yeah, well, uh, we can't holy war kingdoms. We can only holy war duchies right now. Uh, we'll have a look at Iberia, actually. I mean, there's some stuff down here who, who, uh, which we probably could get. Faction created. Uh, peasant rabble. Yeah, we don't care about peasant rabble. So, uh, this should be done in a minute. Yeah, now we have won this little war. And we will just enforce our demands as usual. So, let's see. Then we'll disband all armies, disband. And now this guy owns both of these. Yeah, that's great. That's what we wanted. So let's see. Um, what can we do down here? What is this? I'm obese again. Jesus Christ. I'm no longer obese. Jesus Christ, you became obese and then uh, you lost it in the same day. Great. So... What is going on with this guy? So let's declare war. What can we do? Holy war for duchy? For county? 
seize the shakedown because it's the sure I gain the contested county uh, well declare this war uh, where did where do we have our closest rally point actually it's down here so raise local army that should be enough yeah that should be more than enough so uh, let's go over there what is that I don't know I don't know I don't care there's always some war going on somewhere that I, that I don't understand, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So you go to Barcelona and kick these guys in the ass. And uh, meanwhile, what I'm doing here, I'm increasing development. How are we doing on development? In Argo, it is 20. In Bern, it's 22. Uh, over here, it is 21, 19, 20. Yeah, actually, you can stay there. It's okay. Yeah. The glorious empire of Bern. Yeah. It has a bit of border core going on, but we we are we are uh, we are um in the process of fixing that. So we already have 50 war score after winning that battle. Enemy combatants captured. Actually, want to want to have a look at my dungeon here. Uh oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, who can we ransom? 25? Yeah, definitely. 10? Yeah, definitely. This guy? 50? We'll have to wait a moment. Yeah, definitely. Ransom accepted. Who else do we have? Who else do we have for a favor? No. A scheme at court. What do we have? My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who someone is plotting to kill my guest Skatash. Well, she's not. She, she is just a guest. I don't care if she is killed. <laughs> Why should I care? So uh, no, I, I will not let people go for a favor. What the hell? So we have these. Uh, so so she can actually convert. And this guy favor. Favors just favors everywhere. A snake at court. No, not again, please. Do we get this goddamn event in every episode? Jesus Christ. Ah. I am heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from a window. Just the wind, I think, until the wind starts to speak. Theodora, open up, my sunshine. It is I, Gottschalk. I push the shutters open and lo and behold, a man has climbed up to Theodora's window. It is Mayor Gottschalk of Cognac. He is one ugly son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, look at that. What does he have? What is that? Great pox. Jesus Christ, that you're coming into my court with that stuff. I should have I should have you hanged for this. You know that? Ah. Uh, oh no, and he's sleeping with my daughter? Princess Theodora? Oh no, why? Why? I mean, at least they are about the same age, but but why? No. What is that? Do I have a hook on him? Yes, I have a strong hook on him, actually. Um, What can I do with that? <laughs> Arrange marriage? No. I could marry him off somewhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Murder in prison. I could imprison him. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what? whatever. Just if you want to fuck my daughter, then just... Do it, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Just don't uh, spread the pox around the court, please. Oh, man. Sway, religious convictions. I have gotten an idea in my attempts to align Duke Sigismund to my interests. With the right arguments, I may be able to convince him that I am acting not merely in my own interest, but in the interest of the Lord himself. Oh. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that is actually great. So we have swayed this guy, which means we can sway someone else. Um, who do we need to sway? So the Duke Nicolaus, for some reason, doesn't like us. Oh, and he has the wrong... He definitely has the wrong uh, religion. Can you convert, please? Uh, demand conversion. Might accept. We will first sway him. We'll first sway him. Um... If I can. The problem is he's a child. So demand conversion. And then we'll sway someone else. Um, 
You can't sway children. Why can't you sway children? I could just uh, buy them something and they would be swayed. Okay? Is that not possible? Yeah, whatever. So we'll sway this guy. He does like us, but not enough. So I want everyone to love. To love our emperor. He's the greatest emperor that has ever lived. They need to love him. Uh, you're 12 years, 13 years old. Do what your emperor says. You brat. Jesus Christ, just because he's a duke. So, um, what is going on here? Please finish that siege. Yes! Prisoner taken. War won. Enforce. Enforce. So be it. Uh, no. What the hell? So I gained a count. Uh, who do I have down here? Is this... Let me have a look here. So this, this is the Duchy of Barcelona and a quite a big Dutchy it is. Um, and we have a um, do we have a Duke of Barcelona, Prince Peter of Peter of Bern? Uh, he has the County of Tarragona, County of Barcelona, County of Girona. Uh, he doesn't have the Dutchy title, but I uh, yeah, I will disband my army. I can probably now create or uh, usurp uh, Barcelona. I can create that, so definitely create this. And then I will just uh, give this to this guy here, and uh, hopefully he will be happy. So, uh, uh, grant titles. I will grant you the uh, Duchy of Barcelona. Yes, Duchy of Barcelona, but you will not get the... Um, yeah, I will grant this. Then, did the uh, vassal actually transfer? Yes, he did. Granted a title and that's done and done. So the next thing would be this. This is one ugly county. Jesus Christ, why isn't this two counties? This this hurts my eyes. Jesus Christ. Who's responsible for this? Ah whatever. Let's let's get this off the map. Um I can actually declare war. Seize the Shura. Seize the Shura. You gain the contested county. Yes, I will gain the contested county. It will cost me some prestige, but not much. We have actually crossed the threshold. We are now at over 20,000 prestige with this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's certainly not the highest that is possible, but Jesus Christ, he has a ton of prestige that is not certainly not normal so we need to raise actually we need to make another rally point down here uh where do we do that um that's in the army tab right yes we'll, we'll make another rally point exactly down there so and then we'll uh, raise the local army that should be enough for these guys oh it's actually quite a weak army jesus christ but yeah whatever so uh, we'll just uh, go up there and siege their capital and that should be it so um do we have anything here I can uh, call a house member I can call uh, no I don't want to <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I can run some countess no school <laughs> why is she called no school <laughs> what the hell is going on why is she called no school <laughs> is that a name I mean, <laughs> it's, that is not a name, okay? That can't be a name. I mean, this is this is this. this that's Ringwraith from uh, from Lord of the Rings. Why is? It? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So we can we can ransom the North School for twenty five gold. So we'll do that. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! No. <laughs> oh, that made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Count this no school. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm easy to please. <laughs> so, uh, who will win the siege first? Our army or theirs? Actually, theirs. Um, which is not good. Hmm. Scandalous priest. The Catholic world was appalled to learn that my vassal prince 
Archbishop Osmond was discovered torturing a servant boy in a secret chamber under his rooms, taking apparent delight in the poor boy's anguished screams. While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, it is uh, disquieting for one to occur so close to home. <sighs> Why? Condemn him. Yeah, definitely condemn this guy. So, we'll actually let this happen. I mean, we can then defend them afterwards and we'll still uh, win the war even if we... Ah, I'm obese again. And I'm no longer obese. What is happening? So, my Counselor Hartman died. So, this, this obesity thing is really getting on my nerves. Um, empty council position. So, we lost our last... We lost our last nudist! Now we only have clothed people. Am I, well, maybe we'll find another nudist here, so let's see. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't look like it. So we have Mayor Baldomar of Duren. Uh, we don't want him because he's just the mayor. Then we have Duke Demetri of Transcarpathia. Uh, he is uh, not so powerful. Then we have... Yeah, well, these guys are then just worse. Um, um, yeah, yeah, you know what? I want the best... Uh, Guy I can have here. So what are you doing actually? Domestic affairs, that's great. Uh, foreign affairs, yep. Okay, we don't need foreign affairs. I, I don't care about any foreign affairs here because as far as I'm concerned, everyone can hate our, our ass. I don't, I don't care because we can kick everyone in their ass if they uh, try something funny. So um, that is true power if you don't care about what your neighbors think of you. That is true power, guys. So, uh, yeah. Boiling anger. Uh, what the hell? Who are you? You are no one. You're irritable. You're lunatic. You're craven. And arrogant. Oh, <laughs> that's quite the mixture. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's quite the mixture. So what, what did you do? You might be a Kaiser, but you are also a false knave. The unprovoked anger expressed by my courtier Herman comes as a complete surprise. He has been under a lot of stress lately, but uh, to behave like this, that even he struggles, it's calming. Oh, actually, I gain free stress loss. Great. Uh, there was something I wanted to do. Work off some stress, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Another lap. Sweaty stench here, yeah, whatever. Okay, actually we are faster at the siege than he is, so uh, there's no need to concern ourselves, so um, Valuable hostage, prisoners taken, siege one, enforce demands, enforce demands, so be it, so who is he? Uh, Count Rodrigo Furgel, yeah, whatever. So disband all troops, and that's it. So it looks much more pleasing now down here, doesn't it? Um, then we get rid of that, and so I need to do some housekeeping, um, so what did I want to do, um, I need to do something with this money that we accumulated, uh, let's have a look at our military, can we, no we cannot, can we, uh, have more, yes we can create one more, so what do we have, we have, uh, bowmen, uh, we have two sets of pikemen, we have two sets of light horsemen. Actually, I want another bowman. Uh, where are the bowmen? Right there. Create. And then we'll increase their size. Because we can afford it. And then we'll have a much stronger army, so that is great. Um, what else can we do with this money? Can we build something? Let me have a look at burn. Uh, can we upgrade? No, we cannot. Can we upgrade? No, we cannot actually. Do we need to uh, click on this to upgrade? I'm not really sure if we need to click on it to see if we can upgrade, but as far as I can see, we can't upgrade shit. So, um, oh, that is... Well, I mean, we can hang on to the money. At some point, we'll have a succession, and then we can use all that money to bribe people, which is not too bad, actually. So we are at level 2 everywhere, we are... But I don't know if there is some building here that we might be able to upgrade, I'm not really sure. 
what did we build in Neuchâtel? Um, we can't upgrade anything there. So, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Can we do it? Do we have some areas where we can build stuff? Yes, we have. We could uh, actually build something uh, right there or there. So what do we have in Besancon? We have a church, we have a city uh, and we have a barony. Um, do we want another barony? Actually, we should have made the barony right there because then we could have had uh, like a defensive circle around uh, around our stuff here. Um, yeah, whatever. So, what do, what's that? This looks like there's something being built. Yes, constructing homesteads. Um, so what could I build here? Construct construct a new holding. We can. What's that? Wrong type of holding. Yeah, I, I know. Um, I don't know. Do I want uh, to build another castle in there? Yeah, why not? And then we'll, we'll make a city over there. Actually, you know what? Make a city first. Make a city first and then uh, we'll see. Okay, so uh, let's get on with this. So what is going on down here? There is... Oh, spe I mean, this just exploded. Uh, available Dynasty Legacy. Oh no, that is great. So uh, we have 2,000 renown. No, we could wait for 4,000. Um, which is a great thing to have. Architected ancestry. Or we could go for one of these. But since we didn't go for these previously. Um, I don't really know. Well, mostly fair. Popular opinion plus five. What does that mean? The general populace of each county has an opinion. No, no, actually, that's not... We don't need that. Uh, Montreal. No, 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 no. Control growth. Stewardship lifestyle experience. Powerful vassal opinion. Well, that is not bad. What do we have here? Prowess plus 2, night effectiveness plus 15%. Whoa. Castle Spell I Coast, uh, Advantage, Private Army, okay. Uh, marriage Acceptance, we don't need that. Uh, fertility, Ooh, actually no, we are, we are saving up, we are saving up for this, definitely. So I want pause and go on with things. Um, low control, I don't care about low control. If you have such a vast empire, you don't really need to uh, concern yourself with stuff like this. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, that's not good. I can feel it in my very bones. Death will come for me soon. Like an old friend, he is patiently waiting to receive me. So that will be the end of Kaiser Alexander, huh? It will be dead within a year. Oof. Now we need to have a look. <laughs> so now we need to have a look here. Um, where is our succession? So actually, let's let let's really do some housekeeping right now. Let's first clean out our prison <laughs> for all the money we can get. Uh, this is a favor. This is a favor. This is a favor. Jesus Christ! Do, don't you have any money? What the hell? No. 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 Yeah, four. Well, you know what? 14 gold, you can have her. So uh, then these guys will obviously convert. Uh, this guy as well. Will not accept. Yeah, well, then you can stay in prison. It's as simple as that. If you don't want to convert, you just stay in prison. There's absolutely no discussion to be had about this. So then we have... Yeah, okay, you stay in prison. You stay in prison. I don't care. You can rot there for all I care. Yeah, so we get a lot of notifications now. And yeah, yeah. So... Now let's see. Okay, um... How is our succession looking right now? We still have the problem of uh, losing Aquitaine to this guy. I mean, he can have Lotharingia and County of Aachen. I don't care. But uh, actually, I'm wondering if I just... I mean, I, I think if I just inherit him, disinherit him, 
someone else will take his place. I completely expect that to happen. So um, I might, I, I'm tempted to just let him get Aquitaine and then, well, like um, take it away from him. We have almost 5,000 gold and um, we have quite a strong army. So we should be able to take him on if he rebels. We should be able to renounce this title um, or revoke this title. So let, let me see. Can we revoke kingdom tier titles? I just want to. I don't want to revoke anything here, but I just want to see. Uh, okay, it doesn't work if he is at war, obviously. So let's see this guy. Uh, if he would try to revoke his kingdom title. Yes, we'll accept, revoke. It would work. It should work. Okay, we'll just let it run and see what happens. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't want to do this. So what do we have here? Sway, infiltrators. Um, we don't really need to lose any gold. It is not worth it. So we'll, we'll just not spend any gold or anything uh, because it's just totally not worth it. Yes, so uh, we'll just wait for our uh, Emperor to die. And i um, actually quite nervous <laughs> right now because how many episodes did we play with Kaiser Alexander? Or just Alexander, I mean, he was a king before, but how many episodes was this? I mean, I feel like playing with him... Or playing this character for like uh, for like forever. I mean, it has been several weeks, certainly, uh, probably even a few months. <laughs> That's just crazy. So let's have a look here. What do we want to get? Progress speed, uh, convert faith and county. Well, we're not doing that right now. So <laughs> whatever. Um. Actually, let's get... It doesn't really matter at this point, but let's get this. So we'll just sit here and wait. There's nothing to do right now. We just wait until our uh, glorious emperor dies. Which will be quite sad, actually. I might, I might go to cry. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Our glorious Alexander, look at him. Let's take one last look at him. Can, can't we zoom this out uh, so that he is a little bit bigger? Probably not. Well, what we can do is uh, that's probably the biggest picture of him we get. So this is our this is our Kaiser Alexander, our glorious emperor there. So um, yeah, he will leave us in a few months' time, and what a glorious reign it was. I will have to go back and see how much we expanded. The Empire of Bern uh, during his reign, it, he's, he's certainly more than doubled the uh, area that is now uh, ruled by Bern, definitely. So uh, what do we have here? Uh, we have the comfort of a friend. There are a few things I enjoy more than Countess Veronica's company. Uh, a road denied in a town. In town, a lot of the new acquaintances truly took my mind off my troubles. After the short break, I was once again ready to take on my duties. I'm lucky to have a friend like Countess Veronica. Yeah, we'll lose some stress. and Not that we really need it, but there's something weird going on here with the colors. Or is this just me? Yeah, there's definitely something weird, I think. Okay, I don't know. I just know that uh, I'm very sad that we'll lose our emperor, so uh, let's position the camera over the empire so that we can see everything. Uh, yeah, we are down to Africa. We're stretching from northern Africa to... Uh, what's that? That's Norway. Up to Norway, huh? and we have some stuff in Denmark, some stuff in England, and some stuff up, up here, and... These are just the same colors, more or less, but it's not burn. Yeah, hopefully I don't have anything uh, any anywhere else. It's it's already enough border core as it is. So um, yeah, just sitting here and accumulating money and waiting for our king to die or our emperor to die. So uh, we could declare twenty eight wars. Jesus Christ! 
Uh, in line to inherit titles, yeah, no law. No longer. Um, let's have another look at our prisoners. So we are down to five prisoners. Uh, these guys will not convert. Uh, then these guys have no money and will not convert. Actually, do I want to get these out for a favor? Yes, I want to get these out for a favor. Uh, ransom. So, yeah, we cook, we cook. I could have done that with my air, actually. Yeah, whatever. Because the, the hook will obviously not, the favor will not uh, be, the uh, favor will not be inherited. Um, so new patriarch Victor died. Is that just the uh, the bishop? Yeah, okay. The, the bishop replaces himself. Um, but I would really, why can't we choose the bishop? I don't get this because cause I always end up with these really bad bishops there so um maybe we need to conquer the pope maybe then we'll be able to uh to uh influence who uh, will who will be our bishop so what what is going on it's like it's like we see some trees even at this zoom level which is weird seems like it looks like a graphical bug yep and now he died okay kaiser alexander of Bern has found Peace in Christ's embrace at 83 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troop troops. Kaiser Philip ascends to the throne, having mastered many skills. He is sure to be admired by his subjects. Ooh. So, uh, let me see here. Let me see. We'll have a look at him. Uh, how much prestige did he have at his death? Do we see that anywhere? Yeah, well, we will see it. We'll we'll see it somewhere. We'll have a look at the dynasty in a moment. So, um, yeah, that's it. Our Kaiser Alexander died, and now he's succeeded by Kaiser Philip. So this is this is the the wrong wrong way around actually, because the original Alexander of Mac of Macedon. Um, uh, had a father called Philip, and now <laughs> our uh, Kaiser Philip has a father called Alexander, so it's the wrong way around, but uh, whatever. Uh, he's 52 years old, Jesus Christ, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll need to see what we can do here. Um, yeah, and who, who, who will be his heir? That's another story that we will have to look at, and oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. Oh, there's some stuff going on up there. Yeah, so uh, we'll first do some housekeeping and then we'll have a quick look at uh, Kaiser Alexander and how long he uh, he actually reigned. I'm really curious to see that. Actually, no, actually, no, it says, it says down here. 68 years. Jesus Christ, 68 years. The same character, that is crazy. But yeah, uh, let's continue as Kaiser Philip. Uh, so we have a new patriarch. Dynasty head has changed. What? How's Gerald Oren? Um, house head of House Gerald Oren. Yeah, okay, that seems all right. So um, dynasty head has changed. Uh, why Duke Nicholas? No, no, he is the dynasty head. It says right there. So uh, whatever. Okay, so let's have a look at things. Now we are... we don't have a lifestyle chosen. What do we need to improve? Uh, can I get rid of this? How is your health? You're fine. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. So you're forgiving, humble, content, charismatic negotiator, you're a genius, uh, contrite is not too good, but you're in August. Okay, why are you in August? I don't care. It's just good. <laughs> This gives uh, Diplomacy, Martial, Prestige, yeah, that's great. So you don't have a ton of Prestige, actually. Well, you have very, very, very little Prestige, but you're getting, you're getting there. So your heir is Prince Gerhard of Bern, and we don't want that, because he is absolutely, I don't know, uh... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, so let's see. I will educate him, but I'll probably, uh... Also, this disinherit him at some point. So, above the main limit, we'll know that. We have empty council positions. Oh, quite a few, actually. So, 
Uh, we still have, don't have a list of chosen a lifestyle. So we are very good at diplomacy. We are very good at learning. We could do better with stewardship. Actually, we could do quite a bit better. Uh, what is our wife good at? She's very good at martial. Uh, she's, she's also very good at intrigue. So where do we want her to help? Actually, let her help with intrigue. Uh, court intrigue. Uh... Because, yeah, we don't want to risk anything, okay? Okay, so court intrigue, yeah. So now we need to uh, either marshal or intrigue. Let's see what we can get down here in terms of counselors. So the best uh, diplomat we can get is... Um, actually, we have King Anthony of Lotharingia, who is quite good. Uh, and this is the guy we need to... Uh, we need to take... Uh, there's definitely a graphical bug going on. Something doesn't look right here. Can you see that? Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter that much. So, um, uh, we need to uh, revoke his title of uh, Kingdom of Aquitaine. And he doesn't like us very much. So, if we assign him as our Chancellor, he will, li he will like us a little bit more. So who can we get as our steward? Uh, we can get as our steward uh, Duke Thomas of Piedmont. Uh, how strong are you? You have quite a few troops. Uh, do we have any king? Uh, yeah, King Christopher of West Francia, but the problem is he is not really good at it. Uh, although we are, yeah, well, we are actually making enough money. So let's let's try to appease him because he's quite powerful. If we look at his kingdom, it's not too small. So um, so let's get a good marshal. Um, who is the best marshal we can get? So Count Udalrich of Ravensburg. Then we have a duke. Uh, then we have the King of Sardinia. Uh, he, he doesn't have any troops. Uh, then we have King Christopher of West Francia again, uh, as, again 13, so we we can keep him as a steward, it doesn't matter. Um, should we get King, we want to our, we want our kings to like us, so let's get King Alexander. Then we need a spy master, so uh, who can we get there? Uh, where's the first king? Uh, okay, so we, we'll, we'll take one of these dukes. So we have Duke Hesso, 3000 troops. Uh, no, we don't want another nudist. Um, yeah, actually, Duke Kesso is the most powerful one, so we'll get him. Um, that's actually good. Okay. So, let's now see. Uh, this is the guy who owns something we don't want him to own. How is our succession actually looking right now? We are not losing anything, which is weird. Well, this is our only son. That's probably the... That's probably it. So, um... Let's see what happens. Let's let's send him a gift first, so that he really likes uh, likes us. We send him a gift first, so we did that, and then we'll need to um, then we'll need to uh, revoke his title. Now that will be interesting. So Kingdom of Aquitaine, he will accept. Uh, we'll take quite a hit here. We don't we don't have a hook. Um, will accept so he will accept so we'll unpause for a little moment we have a dangerous faction we'll deal with we'll deal with that in a moment i see no choice yeah uh rightfully so so um uh, how many troops do we have we lost six thousand troops in comparison to our last ruler but that will get up uh, where it was before to where it was before so now he doesn't like us so he will be the first guy we start to sway definitely so uh, the main limit yeah dangerous faction will have a look at that uh, once the empire of burn that's this guy oh Jesus Christ who else is in here so this is this guy and obviously the other one here so let's actually send him a gift uh, which will raise his opinion so uh, let's just deal with that two weeks to send an ultimatum yeah actually um how are we doing what are our counselors doing so you are organizing levies this is great you are disrupting schemes that's okay you are increasing development you are improving domestic affairs and you have quite a high skill now this is this is something where i wish the game would take into account that this guy 
uh, wants to usurp us. Okay, he wants to uh, claim the empire for himself. But on the other hand, he's our ca uh, ca chancellor, and he's tasked with improving domestic affairs. Normally, if I knew that this guy wants my throne, I would not appoint him chancellor and I would not put him in charge of improving relations with my other vassals because that would be a prime opportunity for him to, uh, well, uh, organize a uh, faction against me or a uh, uprising or an uprising. So uh, that would not be clever, but um, I don't think the gang takes this into account. He will probably just do his job as assigned. Um, it would be really cool if he would be like, okay, if you are so stupid uh, as to assign me here, I will use that opportunity and rally everyone against you. So, yeah, that would be great if that would happen, but I don't think it will. So, uh, missed opportunity there. And, oh, Jesus Christ, let's get rid of these question marks up here. What the hell? I'm just happy I have such a large screen so they don't clutter it as, as much. Um, so what else did we need to take care of? So we have this faction. Uh, do we have any other dangerous factions? Lower crown authority. Yeah, that's actually also a problem. Who is the most powerful member here? Um, so, okay, this is the most powerful member, obviously. And she doesn't like me. What the hell? Um, yeah, we'll need to spend some money here as well. Uh, send a gift. Uh, so it doesn't help much, but it does help. So who else do we have? Have we anyone here with a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, she's the second most powerful one, so send her a gift as well. Uh, this should be enough to raise her into the positive so that, sh that should be fine we'll we'll need to deal with that f first and foremost uh, we are swaying him and uh, yeah, let's see what happens there why in the why do i suddenly have 11 holdings i had nine before okay let's let's just see what is what do i own directly so obviously all this stuff, which is all right that's that's what i want to own uh so let's see what else so we own stuff over here, apparently. Um, let me see. This is uh, point two. Okay, point two. Okay. So there we have a county of Montaigu castle holding. We have a count Adalbert of Montaigu. Um, are you? A Catholic's waving, yes, you are. So actually, what I could do is uh, Count of Poitiers, Duchy of Poitou. Okay, I own this. Huh, how did I get this? Did I own this before? I, I'm not sure. Well, well, it doesn't matter. Let's grant this to someone. Let's grant this to someone. So we'll need to have um, gender male, adult. Yes, maximum age, I don't care. Actually, I do. Uh, dynasty uh, doesn't really matter uh, all. Ruler, not ruler, religion, uh, Catholic, culture, Swabian. Hooks, I don't care. Claims, if possible, no claims. So, uh, let's see. Who do we have here? Dietpold of Bern. Uh, what is that? Located in Montpellier. How about Hugo Mokerodonen? Well, who is that? He's my nephew. Okay. Um, grant to um, Gottfried Schauenburger. Okay, no. Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. Let's get back here. Grant to... Who do we have? Eckehart. Um, then we have... Where are you? Look at him below. Well, actually, you could you could have it. You're stubborn, arrogant, content, but everything else is all right. You have a betrothed. Uh, you can have it. Yes, you can have it. So, um, who is this guy? Where is it? Ekbert of, yes, this this guy here. So, you can have the county of Poitiers grant this title. Uh, became a vassal. So, then we'll need to uh, Lusignan. Is that the Lusignan from, uh, like, 
I am Guy de Lusignan from uh, Kingdom of Heaven. Is that is this this Lusignan? I think it is. I think he was French. I'm not really sure, but I think uh, uh, that might be the case. Yeah. So let's have a look at him. Um, no. Um, wealth. <laughs> wealth. Um, actually, no. Um, who else do we get here? Uh, how about Victor? No. How about Berthold von Hohenburg? Oh, actually, that's not bad. Uh, cynical, ambitious, just intricate web weaver. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, Grand Two. Where was it? Berthold von Hohenburg. So, uh, Grand Titles. He doesn't like me. I just gave him a title, but he doesn't like me. Whatever. So, um,. Now I need to give this guy uh, grand titles, uh, the uh, Duchy of Boitu, grand titles, and he likes me now. Okay, so uh, we still have one too many holdings. Where do we have? Let me have a look here. So we have nine, we can have eight. Yeah, actually we have, oh, because we have this damned uh, barony here. Uh, Besancon, okay, and then we have Dole and Quingy, Quingy, okay, we need to give this away, Grant to Low Noble, okay, Grant to Low Noble, no, uh, no Noble, <laughs> to Low Noble, and actually, this is, this is some, something we can build, um, let me see, uh, walls and towers, okay, I'll definitely do that. Uh, this gives some some uh, levies. Uh, I know this is garrison fort level. Oh, actually, can we get some levies? Pastoral lands, hunting grounds, barracks. Barracks is great. Uh, military camps. Does this now affect me or him? I'm not really sure. Well, let's actually let's let's construct this one. So okay. Yeah, so we did that. Uh, dangerous faction, yes and no, no lifestyle chosen. So we are still, <coughs> we still need to choose a lifestyle. So what do we need? Intrigue or martial? Well, <coughs> martial. Uh, I mean, he has a little bit of a problem with his with his melancholy. Um. um does would it help if he were to choose his a learning perk? I mean, we have more than enough troops actually to do anything we want. Uh, let me have another look here. Um, confess, free your mind. Uh huh. What is this? I will lose some stress, yep. Okay, let's do this. Stress coping, confession. I have gathered the core today because I have something to confess. I am a non-believer. The shocked murmur spreading throughout the room does nothing to hamper my relief. <gasps> oh, I'm a non-believer. Oh, that is great! We can conquer the Pope! We can't conquer the That's actually, I mean, as a Catholic, conquering the Pope is a problem, but as a non-believer? Oh, that is just fantastic. That is just fantastic. I and mean, we need to we need to bribe some people. Uh we have already sent the gift. Um So we'll try to bribe our way around a little bit. Uh send the gift. Oof, this this is expensive. But uh, yeah, he's a powerful vassal, so we uh, will just bribe some people here. We already bribed him. We are swaying him right now. Then who do we have here? If we send a gift to him, that is great. Duke Ivo, he has quite a few troops. Send gift. Yeah, we'll, we'll just spend a lot of money on these guys um, to uh, increase their opinion. Uh, can we send a gift to him? Yes, we can. So, and then I think... Uh, what's the, what about her? Oh, ah! 
<laughs> the wrong button. Uh, send gift. The, uh, can we afford that still? Yes, we can. <clears throat> um, send gift. Yeah, we'll do that one as well. And we have this guy here. Uh, send gift. So, and then we'll stop. Uh, well, I want to keep some money, actually. So, just uh, just we need to give give out some money to uh, keep this these people on our side. So, um, <clears throat> no lifestyle is still a problem. And oh, Jesus Christ! I can ask for gold. Actually, I will do that because I don't care about piety. I want gold. <laughs> um yeah whatever so this is great this is really great um we still have no we know we are exactly at our holding limit uh that is fantastic um let me see here uh did we lose one no no we have two of these two of these two of these and one of these no it's okay it's okay um yeah that's great so yeah, the Pope. I uh, I um <clears throat> thought about ending this series when our glorious king uh, or Kaiser Alexander died, but <laughs> now I have a non-believer as Kaiser, and uh, yeah, there's the Pope down here. <laughs> we will conquer the Pope. This is this is now this is my goal in life now: conquer the Pope. So uh, we'll do that with our non-believer here. So um, let me see. You are a non-believer. You're still melancholic. Uh, what else did we have here? We have some interesting things. We can commission an epic. Uh, we will definitely not go on a pilgrimage. <laughs> uh, where does it say that I'm a non-believer? Forgiving, humble, content. Where does it say that I'm a not that I am a non-believer? Shouldn't it be in some here, somewhere in here? Shouldn't it say there? Okay, I don't know. So, should I go for Intrigue? Or should I go for Marshall? What do we get here? Uh, Castle Spell Eye, Naval Speed. You know what? We have been recording for an hour. I will give this some thought off screen and then we'll be back in the next episode and we'll see what we can do there and uh, the one thing i want to uh, see actually is um where is it the empire of burn title history yeah, that's what i wanted to see so we have this guy here um that's not what i want to see where is our dynasty tree Ooh, we have almost 300 living members that's crazy yeah, there is our dynasty tree. Oh, Jesus Christ. Our dynasty tree get, is getting uh, interesting. So where is the main line? Where is the main line? Where is our glorious... Jesus Christ, just look at this. Oh! I mean, just... Okay, there are some big, pretty big branches over here. But, whoa, just look at King... Kaiser Alexander, I mean, he just died and this is his, these are his grandchildren, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Th these are his direct children, these are his grandchildren and these are his great grandchildren, this is not, this is definitely not normal, oh Jesus Christ, so we have this guy here, where do I see how much, how much prestige we had at we had at the end? Okay, well I, I can't just look at it in the video, but I I thought you can see this somewhere here. Jesus Christ! Look at our dynasty. I mean, it started with one guy, Gerald, Gerald Orr, and back all the way back in episode one. This was this was almost a year ago, people. This was almost a year ago. This is crazy, and we we got we got uh, down here. I mean, there's actually a was a grandchildren, great grandchildren and there is actually a great great granddaughter here oh jesus christ <laughs> okay oh uh, yes this is fucking great so yeah whatever i will choose a lifestyle in the next episode and i will make plans for conquering the pope oh you i didn't know we could do that you can turn the map 
Oh, crazy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. This probably shouldn't do that. In just in case we have some epileptics on the channel, so um, <clears throat> sorry for that. Um, yeah. So I will. I need, I need a really need to end the video here. We have been over an hour now, and uh, it has been going well. Not great, but we had a we had we had some fun today. It was a an, it was a fun episode, at least for me. I hope for you too. If you did enjoy it, uh, then please uh, leave a like below and come back next time and see what our uh, Kaiser Philip will be up to. The non-believer. He will probably make war on the Pope. Yeah, I mean, uh, why not? <laughs> It just it, uh, it it's the best opportunity we'll get for that. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Stay safe and stay healthy. And yeah, see you then. Bye.